I'm so excited for today's video. We are going to be doing a family morning routine and I'm going to bring you guys along with my morning. I've been wanting to do a morning routine for a long time already, but obviously you guys knew my living situation. So I'm glad that we are finally getting into a routine. We are staying in my guest bedroom until my new bed comes in, but usually I start my mornings with me checking my emails and i have to always go in there and check my text messages usually my manager texts me around this time when i tell you guys i start work from the moment i open my eyes i truly mean that so i go through my emails around this time is around 7 a.m i could already hear max crying screaming playing um doing his craziness um so around this time that's usually my alarm to get up ulises is already at the gym working out i usually take this time to do my bed in the morning i do try to do my bed um, every day before i start my day because it definitely helps me be a little bit more productive um, this was the first night in our home so we did try to leave the kids sleeping in their rooms and you guys are going to see how that turned out um, so here i am finishing doing my bed and I'm just so happy. I'm so genuinely happy that I finally have a piece of home here in Southern California. So I am on my way to the kids' rooms. And as you guys can see, <laughs> Camila was the only one in her bed. Um, from what I know, none of them fell. It was our first night. I did order some bumpers from Amazon. Um, I didn't hear anybody crying in the middle of the night. So I'm guessing everything was okay. Max is the crazy sleeper. Camila usually stays in place for the most part. Um, but they look like they were pretty cozy. We were checking in on them in the night. I'm not gonna lie Like I was just kind of adjusting them. I don't think I even slept last night But once those bumpers come in, I know that we will be a little bit more comfortable leaving them I as well have a monitor that's watching them But as you guys can see max is just kind of playing around and they've just been staying in the room So I love that so we can hopefully get them into a routine where they're just kind of chilling in their room and um, you know, they'll wait for me to come and wake them, but Camila is literally the cutest. I cannot get enough of her. So by this point, Ulises is usually done with the gym and he will come and get Max and Camila. And this is the same routine we had in our guest house, except the kids were obviously in the room with us. But he'll usually come in, grab the kids and start breakfast for us. He will start breakfast for us. It looks like Max forgot his Crocs, so he came back to get his shoes. He does not like being barefoot for some reason. He used to love being barefoot like his mom, but now he just wants to be in his Crocs all day. So he came to get his shoes. He usually takes um, his sisters as well, but today he was probably just having, he was just trying to have a blast. He's excited to just be in his house. And you guys can obviously see the smiles in everyone's faces. Um, same thing with the kids' rooms. I'm doing their beds. I'm getting their beds just tidied up and ready. That way, if they come into the room or anything like that, it's not like a big mess. I just always find that if you clean your room before your day starts, you're going to have a very good productive day. It's always worked for me and... I'm hoping I can enlist that into my children. So around this time while I'm doing the bed and um, getting like the kids stuff ready for their showers and stuff, Uli says we'll usually be getting breakfast ready. He decided to do something a little bit light and just make us all a licuado. Um, I ended up not eating licuado today, but he did take care of the kids and made sure that they were fed. Max was over here trying to just grub on some cookies and I was like, not for breakfast, sir, not for breakfast. Um, around this time, I'll usually be grabbing my clothes as well as the kids' clothes. That way I can at least shower this is all dependent on how my day is going to go if i'm gonna get ready or if i'm not gonna get ready so i always like to shower to make sure that i'm at least you know showered and ready for the day in case i'm just gonna clean around the house or anything like that so my typical outfit crew neck and biker shorts like you guys already know that is my comfort that is literally what i live in day and night i just love com being comfortable even if it's hot or if it's cold like that's just my outfit um, as you guys can see, I'm getting ready for my shower and it does not fail. Max just is attached to me and he is with me 24-7. You guys are going to be seeing him be with me all day in the video. He is definitely a lot more um, attached to me as far as like wanting attention. So I did go ahead and just get myself showered. If you guys want a shower routine, let me know. Um, and next, I just kind of, you know, uh brush out my hair <laughs> me forgetting what i'm doing i brush out my hair and get myself ready for the day so i am going to go in here and i am going to start some breakfast so i am going to share with you guys magic spoon cereal this uh, magic spoon cereal does come with 
four delicious flavors in their variety pack. It's cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. My favorite uh, specifically is the frosted. I've always just been a frosted kind of girl. It's a little bit simpler, but it has an amazing taste. Um, you guys can also try the new flavors called maple waffle as well as cookies and cream and blueberry and cinnamon. It has zero grams. It has 13 to 14 grams of protein, and it only has a four net grams of carbs in each serving and only 140 calories, guys. So if you guys love cereal but don't want to worry about all that sugar, then Magic Spoon is going to be your guys' fave. Um, the kids definitely do love it as well, which is a plus. Um, so if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up, you guys can use my code EBETXO and get $5 off your order. Definitely try the um, Frosted and the Fruity, which were two household faves. Um, and they also have a 100% happiness guarantee, guys. So if you guys do not like any of them for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Um, so now I'm going to get go ahead and go into the rooms and get their kids their clothes so I can start them with their day. And you guys are going to see Max here with me, giving me his opinion. He is three, so he is at the stage right now where he wants to be involved in everything. He wants to be involved in his outfit. He wants to be involved in his shoes. Like, he just wants to pick out his own outfits and um you know i love to give him the decision to just kind of help me out so he can um not feel like i'm just kind of picking out the outfits for him and he has a little bit of independency to be like okay so i can pick out my outfit today and then for camila camila honestly she just lets me lets me be me and you know dress her i did want to put on a cute little dress on for her i definitely take a little bit longer getting camila ready and you guys are going to see how i usually get that set up but i always want to make sure that my kids are ready for the day even if i'm not ready for the day i just want to make sure that they're ready for the day before anything um, especially if i'm going to have a very busy work day i want to make sure that they're taken care of before i um, head out for the day so here we have max in the tub i threw him in there and he usually is the one that's in the tub the longest because he just loves being on his ipad playing in the water and just you know kind of just having his own little boy time um so i'm on my way to go get camila and ulises is in the closet he is organizing all of his clothes in case you guys see me kind of coming in and out of the bathroom he's actually organizing all his stuff in there so don't think that i'm leaving the kids you know unattended in the bathtub or anything like that just wanted to throw it out there um so i do have a camila she was on her iPad in her room just chilling, waiting for me to um, grab her. And I'm putting her in the shower now and she notices the camera, which I honestly feel like she's just, <laughs> she's just so cute. She thinks like, I look at her guys and she's like, so adorable. Like, I can't. Um, her hair is growing a lot, which I'm super excited because you guys already know I love doing her hair. Um, so I'm getting her in the shower. Shower time with them both has not been working out um camila just likes to be like really in there and making a mess and just jumping around and max likes to just kind of chill in there and um relax so we're trying to figure out a different schedule where i can maybe have them both have their time alone um because after a while you know max is kind of like okay when are you getting her out and camila's just frustrated with him and they're just kind of getting in that little stage where they're just loving they love each other but they want to fight um, but I usually like to get Camila out of the shower first and once again, Ulises is in the room with Max waiting for him to get out once he's ready to get out of the shower. Um, I usually take my time with Camila to just get her ready, do her hair and um, really just get her looking super, super cute. Max is a lot easier to get ready. You know, he's a boy. You just put on some shorts, some sneakers and he's good to go. Camila is definitely a little bit more of a harder um, getting ready just trying to pair everything together and making sure that she looks her absolute best but it's probably the best time in the in the day that i enjoy like i just love getting my kids ready i feel like it's such a cute moment and they feel so good after like they like camila once i'm done like she knows she's cute you know like she just looks and she's like i know like you did that mommy um as far as my hair goes like for the for camila not my hair for camila's hair i usually try to do her hair in a different hairstyle every day i'm trying to get into a better habit of basically updating you guys on her instagram and posting some hairstyle videos so you guys are going to be seeing karina in and out of my video because she is the one that usually takes care of work while i'm doing like mom mode um and and this video here you guys can see i am showing you guys that she's the one that takes like the behind the scenes of the reels um my stories so that's kind of what i'm working on right now to make sure that i'm capturing content for you guys because i know there's so many mommies out there that struggle to do their daughter's hair so i want to show you guys how easy it is to honestly just you know have them looking their best but 
as far as karina i do want to do a video for you guys separately where i do like a a day in my life as a mom and a content creator just so you guys can see how kind of crazy and hectic it is she usually takes care of all the behind the scenes stuff that a lot of you guys don't see she jumps on calls with my manager she jumps on all of my meetings all that stuff gets me scheduled for the day that way it's an easier transition because being a mom and being on social media as far as like work goes for videos pictures content and brands and all that stuff can be very overwhelming so it, i love the fact that i have her here helping me where i can still you know be on mommy mode and stuff and make sure that my kids are okay um here i told Lisa, so i hope he doesn't fart on me because he had his whole like butt in my face but he's getting max pretty much um changed it's usually a little bit different it depends on what the date is but i'll usually get both of the kids ready if Ulysses well, has time he does try to be in, you know obviously as involved as he can to make sure that he is um you know changing the kids and stuff but we've done such a great job at just parenting in general with knowing what each one of us has to do you know if he has to get breakfast for us while i get the kids ready then we'll just kind of like alternate and so on and so forth he loves cooking which i absolutely love i love cooking too but i honestly feel like a lot of the time i don't have too much time to do all the cooking so i love that he's just kind of like relax it's okay you know you do what you gotta do um you're a little busy like i'll take care of making sure that you know we're all eating and stuff so it helps you know and then here you guys are going to see that it's literally like in and out like you guys will see me kind of in and out with talking to karina like here she's talking to me about some stuff that we needed to do for facebook and monetizations and stuff like that so she was taking care of all that stuff while i was trying to be a mom <laughs> and um a lot of my day just kind of goes like that i cut a lot of those pieces out but if you guys want to see a full detail video let me know i will do that next i do drop them off um to the neighbor's house so <laughs> my mom has actually been staying with us in my guest house and she has been an amazing help guys she has been helping me with the kids for the past maybe like month or month and a half or so she has made herself real comfortable in the guest house which i absolutely love um i'll give you guys a little bit more detail on how that kind of came about but max and camila just love being with her and if you guys hear him you know hey, max call my mom, mom um she actually all the grandchildren call my mom mom and my dad dad so um i'm dropping them mom. off with my mom so she can just <laughs> with them and watch them while i get some stuff done next i'll usually go into my room um, and get myself ready there are times when max will literally be like okay mommy i want to go in the room or even camila and they will just sit there in the corner kind of where karina's at and they'll chill with me they'll just kind of you know be relaxing in there and um while i get ready i try to spend as absolutely much time as i can because i am home 24 7 it just happens to be that i have to step out every so often to you know create content but i'm honestly very proud of me and how we've established such a pretty good routine where it just works for us and um it's just starting to feel really really good um and karina is just right there in the corner she's handling all the business calls being the boss ass babe that she is while i get myself ready for the day so i'll usually you know kind of like walk into my mom's and just check on the kids make sure they're doing good of course there's no better person to watch my children than my mom um i know that she's the one that's going to take care of them the best and she's feeding them their fave which is mac and cheese my kids can eat pasta all day like they just love pasta and they love mac and cheese so they're eating here and i just started the rest of my day that's pretty much my morning after this it's around noon and i decided to record a video for you guys i did a full pantry video which is actually available right now if you guys want to watch it on my channel and you guys are getting a little glimpse of kind of like what goes on after we'll start taking some pictures some ootds and getting ready for you know the instagram life and social media life but if you guys want a full detailed video like i said of exactly what goes on in my day from start to finish um being a mom and obviously working and you know going to the warehouse and having to run a business then definitely let me know i will do a full video for you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed this updated family morning routine and until next time i'll see you guys on my next video love you guys